Hey there everybody, welcome back. I got a special video. Um, I was browsing the Rainbow Six subreddit the other day, or earlier today, and I saw like a really weird Instagram filter on the game, and I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, then I remembered earlier this month they announced, what was it, like, the 7th? Yeah, the 7th of January, NVIDIA introduced um, Freestyles, which is pretty much adds a real-time filter to your game. Um, there's a lot of games that are supported. Arc, uh, you can check it out. Just Google it. I'll put links down in the description towards uh, these links. But a lot of games, Rainbow Six, all the uh, Assassin's Creed, except for actually Assassin's Creed 3 and Brotherhood, with, or not 3 and Brotherhood, but um, Black Rat, which I find interesting. So there's a bunch of games. We got Rainbow Six here, because I, I wanted to see that too. But what this is, is just like more kind of a, um, like filters. What you got to do is you kind of want to make sure you have the latest GeForce experience, which is down here. Down here. There we go. Open this up. There we go. Open this up. Um, oh God, this this program, I used to record with this, and it's just so bad. You want to have make sure you have the latest version, and then you have uh, the latest drivers, and the latest version of uh, GeForce Experience, and then you want to enable experimental features. And then that's when um, you type in your, your your code here, bring this up, and now we got this. Game filters. Uh, style. One. Adjust. Black and white. Okay. And there we go. We got black and white. Uh, let's see here. So we got different styles. Let's see here. Intensif intensity, nah, we can get rid of that. Let's see, we got contrast, depths of field, exposures, half tones. Jesus Christ, special effects. Um, sketch, color en enhancer. Now we can make it look like uh, Borderlands. Holy crap, we can look like make it look like Borderlands. Holy shit. There we go. There we go. And then there's also a colorblind mode. What the hell? I want to know what depth of field is. That seems really hard to do. Oh. Wait. What? That just blurs the game. Doesn't that just blur the game? That's weird. Because depth of field is a kind of a post-processing effect that is applied at certain distances. Um, it's more for a cinematic uh, approach to things. Uh, let's see, uh, vignette, sibio, halftone. And we could add like tons of these too. What is, what is halftone? Oh, hello, hello. There we go. Uh, colorblind mode. Okay, what is this? Okay, that's cool. That's actually pretty cool. So if if you're colorblind, um, you could just kind of just change the. I guess this. I don't know how really colorblind works. Some games do it completely different. Contrast. Um, adjust. What is adjust? Oh, this is just the vibrancy. Okay. We can just turn that off. Um, let's go a little... Let's add a few. Let's go... Let's see. Let's try depth of field. Let's add a depth of field. A nice depth of field. Um, this, this doesn't seem to be doing anything. None of this seems to be doing... Oh, here we go. No. Maybe. Maybe because they're all presented on a... Like a flat surface? Oh, God. That's going to ruin my eyes if I look at that too much. Um... Let's... Mood. Mood. We'll add a little tint. Is this... this is, oh, tint intensity. There we go. So this would be good if you play at night a lot, um, because it, 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 your eyes are, because we look at monitors and they're always kind of giving off a little bit of extra blue. So this could be pretty good for late night gaming, less stress. Okay, let's, uh, let's actually do something real here. Uh, special effects. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Color enhancer. Turn that. And vignette. There we go. There we go. And then add... A black and white. There we go. Wait, no, we don't need this yet. We don't need the adjuster. There we go. Intensity. There we go. And we could probably turn this down. There we go. Done. Okay, and we just hit that. There we go. And play some ranked. Let's play some... We're just going to play some Terrasun. Uh, Lone Wolf. Normal. I wonder if I have any... 
Shit, I don't even have, I don't know if I have any dailies. But this is like all happening in real time. That's pretty crazy. Actually, dude, I like Sledge because he can like get through the sh most shit. There we go. And, dude, I'm not kidding. This is kind of ruining me right now. I bet this increases load times too. Because this is all happening in Eliminate real time. The terrorists. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on, hold on. I forgot. I have to do different settings for recording. So we gotta drop down. Crap, I totally, totally I need a, a V-Sync. We're doing this live, guys. We're doing this live. There we go. There we go. This looks so crazy, though. Are you kidding me with that? I was literally dodging this guy's head. Crazy playing this whole game like this. Uh oh, it's Vader time. It actually, like, cause it, like highlights people a little bit too, cause it is a post-processing effect. Cause like certain things are highlighted different. You can see like the stairs. Oh, <laughs> oh man. But yeah, this is a, like a lot of games are um, use this. You can check it out on different games. There's also like Ant, uh, Nvidia Ansel too. A lot of these, as long as you have something within like 600 series up, it seems like it works. Um, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked watching this. This was kind of cool. I thought I would check this out and see if anybody enjoys this. But make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, at 67 I'll see you on the flip side. Check out our Discord, too. Link down in the description, too.